you have to get used to rejection when you're in the modeling industry make rejection your friend basically I, yeah i didn't end up going when i was called to come in by the agency attending events and stuff and i was like you know what that's where the vava vum came and the awareness of what's actually going on in the industry because she was, um it is a profession basically so i know a lot of us now call ourselves models and stuff but i am going to be talking about how to be professionally signed as a professional model <laughs> Welcome to the yummy family be yummified and click the subscribe button to join us so today I'm gonna to be talking about the most highly requested well video topic question that's like forever being asked how do I become a plus-size model <laughs> so I thought I should do like a young story time um, where I talk about how I became a plus size model and just to clarify um, it is a profession basically so I know a lot of us now call ourselves models and stuff but I am going to be talking about how to be professionally signed as a professional model so I know back in the days uh, as I remember, I used to take a lot of pictures and this was when Facebook was like popular. I mean, it still is, but back when Instagram wasn't around and stuff. So, um, I used to take a lot of pictures. I've always been fond of taking pictures and just general memories. And then, um, what happened? Oh, yes. And then I'll post them on Facebook and then I used to get a lot of engagement on my post and I remember people thinking that I'm a model and I think that's where it started I was like what if people think I'm a model I can be a model right <laughs> surely <laughs> so that's how it happened and that's how it started and I then thought of myself as a model I was like you know what when people ask me are you a model I'm literally gonna say yes so that's where the journey started and then people also started asking me for the model and I'll say yes <laughs> and then years went by this happened when I was still in early high school and then as years went by I remember I had the my well the thought that when I get to varsity I was gonna make sure that I fulfill this dream which became a dream now which is to become a professionally signed model shop eh go to Cape Town get accepted at UCT yay you know amazing so I get to Cape Town <laughs> obviously it's the first thing I want to do but um, I had to sort out school stuff first. So I sorted out school stuff. I was like, okay, perfect, great. My friend and I were very much about wanting to get involved. So we were like signing up for societies and all of that. Um, and she got me into a lot of um, realization in terms of, you know what, you can do this. And her name is Tabeleng. Hey, boo. <laughs> and I remember that's when we started attending events and stuff. And I was like, you know what? That's where the vava vum came and the awareness of what's actually going on in the industry because she was really well she's really into media still and that's how she got about finding out all of these hip happening where when how stuff so i used to just literally be her tag along <laughs> and then 
uh, I decided okay this one day this is what I'm gonna do I went to an agency in Cape Town and then I was like okay cool I want I really want to be a model no I'm lying I didn't go to the, the agency I went online guys if you want your questions answered start online um, and don't always take information that you get without a pinch of salt take them with a pinch of salt so even when you get advice from someone go and do your own research don't be lazy if you really want to have your dream fulfilled you're gonna put in the work you know shop so I went online I was like now I, I am mang mang I want to do it. ah they like come through I was like what yes so I tell them I'm like yo I need to go to this place mind you we don't know Cape Town that well or at all actually because we're new so i was like okay cool um and guess what i didn't end up going yeah i didn't end up going when i was called to come in by the agency so that's where things stopped and i was like wow okay i guess that's that's it but funny enough, I just, I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I was, I wasn't sad about it. I was just, I guess it was my decision. I don't really remember why I ended up not going. So I think a year or two after that, I started seeing um, a Facebook, Facebook post from this other girl in a different agency. And she wasn't plus size or anything. And that's the thing. I didn't even think that. You can be a plus size model. I didn't, and I didn't know that term to begin with. So they were like plus size models, don't 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 want it. I was like, boo, I'm I'm your girl. But I mean, I'm kind of short. Um, in terms of industry, uh, requirements. But I was like, you know what? What's meant for me will be mine. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. Let me go to this agency because um, the ad said we should come through. I went and I get this and I still have my braces. Yes, I had braces before and I love them. They gave me a really nice look. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I really love them. Anyway, I'm off topic. So I went to um, the agency. They took my measurements. They're like, oh, you're pretty you now nice, we like you um but yeah braces you see so come back when those braces are off huh okay sure i'm not sad again funny enough i was like okay cool it's fine my time will come when these braces are off i'm definitely gonna come back and then i graduated with my first degree when was it yeah 2017 I think and then I was like no 2016 why am I lying no yeah 2016 and then I was like okay it's time and then 2017 and 2017 I was like okay no I'm gonna go and I went back again did I no I didn't go back firstly this is what happened um, I'm trying to trace back the timeline sorry guys so when I got um back to cape town beginning of 2017 i got a message uh, on instagram this lady wanting to do a fashion week and she wanted me to be involved in a fashion week and i'd never done fashion shows before so this was my first opportunity at runway oh my gosh i'm always so grateful for that moment because obviously after that more opportunities grow from that shop i meet with this lady so i come through i get there and then she's like um you guys don't have to practice i meet other girls and i'm like oh my gosh they look like me amazing and then we ask each other so what do you do what do you do and then one of the girls was like i'm a model i was like you know what <laughs> she's like i'm a model i'm like okay wow i also want then i, I asked who are you signed with and she mentions the agency that i went to that told me i must come back after braces i was like lord it's aligning and i always say guys what's meant for you will never miss you what's meant for you will never miss you mm. i 
was like, what? And I tell her the story. And she's like, oh, great. Let me see your pictures. I show her my Instagram. She's like, wow. Uh, she, she's impressed. She's going to speak to the photographer who worked with the agency. Who unfortunately is no longer with us. Oh, I really loved him. He was absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, she takes my numbers. And then the following day, she's like, yo, um, he wants to meet, the photographer wants to meet with you. Don't, don't, don't. He likes you. When I talk to the agency, da, da. One plus one, two plus two, three plus three, ten, together, sang in. And I was like, oh my word, it's a total 360 full circle. Because all this time, I was just supposed to end up right there. And guess what? Sign sealed, delivered. <laughs> Sign sealed, delivered, right there. But I remember then I had to come back. Yo, guys, I was so poor. It was um, not poor, poor, you know. I don't want to use the word loosely. But I was definitely at a very broke, broke stage of my life back then. I couldn't even afford the look that they wanted me to be in. I remember I had to ask a friend to, oh, guys, it was really hard. And my parents also couldn't help me out that much because hey, this hair guys, they they hey, these things they're so expensive. But thank God that we're at a place now where we can afford quotable by Michelle in. <laughs> yeah. So after that, they took Polaroids of me. They're like, oh my gosh, we really love you. We see you for this brand, this brand, this brand. And then after those Polaroids, I did my portfolio and guys that is so expensive <laughs> but by the grace of god provision was made for me and i got signed you guys i got signed it was unreal um yeah it was unreal hey and then the first few months i i, I remember i was so excited and you get so nervous going to castings also guys it's really not as glamorous as it sounds and as it looks you go to castings but if you really love it like for me it's it's something that i really enjoy that you get to a point where even when you get a job and you get paid you even forget that you need to get paid because they come in so late anyway that when it comes in you're like oh nice you know it's not something that you wait on because you really enjoy just being in front of the camera and then so when that happened i was oh when I, the first casting happened got baby girl didn't go in she didn't make the cut <laughs> you have to get used to rejection when you're in the modeling industry make rejection your friend basically uh, if you're not fond of it i mean not fond of it but if you don't take rejection very well it's either you learn to or you just don't go into the modeling industry because it's definitely not going to be for you so the first few ones rejection rejection darling until i got a big one i think it was with eight commands oh my word like and then i saw god i was like okay cool now i, I get the gins of it so the the less nervous that you become the more comfortable you are they really love my smile by the way in the um industry so there's always that something about you that makes you 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 know and it's my smile for me <laughs> so they always go like you know all the ads i've done actually it's literally <laughs> so after then i also grew a following on my social media and i could also get jobs on my social media and, and it was not just dependent on my agency so it's really been a journey and I want to let people know that it's not an easy one as well and you need to be prepared not only financially but secured in yourself because you're gonna see things say hey, you're gonna see things so you need to have a high self-esteem um, for the industry and do your own research on the side as well just don't depend on what people are saying um, push you know if you really want something and you want the dream i mean the dream is yours right so you need to work for it and don't think that people when people are not responding to oh i want to be a model that they don't want you to be in there there's there's the market is not as big for everyone 
but that's not up to the person to decide because it's up to the agency to decide oh okay we like your look like i can't stop them from wanting or not wanting you you know it's just a matter of the dream is yours and you also need to put in the work as you can even tell from the story that mine wasn't a one two three we in we signed still delivered it was a journey and it still is but i mean it's all been worth it i hope you enjoyed this story time and the next video that i'm gonna do let me know if you want like more tips and tricks on how to um, survive in the industry and um how to get in like on a different um route in compared to what i did basically so let me know down below and if you have any more questions just put them down below as well then i'll answer them on the next video thank you so much for watching please please subscribe we're on road to 2000 and thank you so much for the love guys for consistently being there and watching the videos even when i go mia because your resources but thank you